Thursday and it's the first day of spring which means my spring collection is launching today. I honestly have not felt like talking all of this week. It's been really challenging for me mentally so I've really just been taking it easy where I can but I'm really really excited for today and I'm feeling a lot better and I'm honestly just so excited for spring because winter I feel like it was really really nice at the beginning and then it just became really difficult and not even because of the weather like just it has been a hard season in my life so I'm looking forward to this like mark of a new beginning today I'm just also gonna do some glazing getting ready for next week's open studio I cannot believe it's next week I'm so excited um, but that's all that's really going on right now and let's do some glazing and then later some computer work and then the launch at 3 p.m. I'm so excited so lazy with working slash filming this week so I thought I would do a quick Q&A so I just made myself a tea in one of the new spring collection mugs by the way the collection went went okay I sold a couple of pieces um 
I didn't think it would go very well just because I hadn't heard much feedback, but it's still online. It might sell. It's just like the luck of the draw. Like my collections are very specific, so people kind of like it or they don't. Um, but I am super proud of the pieces, and that's all that matters. And I've got my open studio next week, and I think they will sell better with that crowd. But oh, sorry, this tea is so good. Let's answer some questions from Instagram. The first question is. Do you have an Etsy and is it worth it? I actually do have an Etsy. I have my own website and I have an Etsy. I feel like Etsy is a really good place to start if you are starting a business because you can get a feel for if people like your products, what products they might be drawn to. And also people really trust Etsy. Not only do they trust it, it's like a huge platform. So you're gonna get so many customers that you wouldn't get to your own site on Etsy. And I know everyone goes on about the fees being super high, but when you think about it, you do really unlock a whole market with Etsy and people will discover you on there. If they order something, make sure you put in a business card with your Instagram. If they really like what you sent them, they'll go to your Instagram, they'll see that you have your own website. I do have my prices upped a little bit on Etsy as well to compensate for the fees. But no, Etsy's awesome. Like sometimes I forget I have it and then I have a really good week on Etsy. Um, and I find that I have a couple of products that sell really well on Etsy. So I'm going to keep using it. I really like it. Obviously having your own website is like the dream, but I don't have enough traffic to my website yet to really like warrant just having a website. I'm hoping to get there soon. I've only really been doing the ceramics part of my business for a year. So I'm hoping that this summer I really get to grow as I meet people at markets and expose myself in a bunch of different, like expose myself, <laughs> expose my products in like a lot of different places during the summer. I would highly recommend checking out Etsy if you are wanting to start ceramics or any kind of business. What clay do you use? I use Clayworks Cone 6 White and I also use I use another clay and I will put a picture on the screen of what it is, um, but I don't use that one as often. The Clayworks is not, I wouldn't really recommend it for a beginner only because it's such a soft clay that it's really, really unforgiving if you're hand building. How did you find your kiln? It was so <laughs> difficult. Um, I literally, as soon as I started making ceramics, I was like, I have to get a kiln. I love this so much. I think I was looking for probably two months. I got lucky because my whole family was scouring every um, nook and cranny of the internet for a kiln near my area. So I found one on Gumtree. It was in Perth. At the time, the prices of kilns were so inflated, so I feel like I paid more than I should have, but I don't really regret it because I still have it now and it works great. It's like pretty dodgy though, um, I will definitely be needing a new kiln soon, it's also quite small but like I love it and it like it works and there's nothing better than making everything from home, you know you don't have to transport it anywhere, like it takes so much longer when other people fire it so look on Gumtree if you're in Australia, look on eBay, look on Facebook Marketplace, look at any Facebook groups that are selling pottery equipment in like your city or town um it's just one of those things that you might have to be patient um and i have a manual kiln it is amazing i don't really i don't really want an automatic kiln only because the electronics are a lot more prone to breaking even if the actual kiln itself can still fire the electronics break really easily so I think I'm going to stick to manuals for now. So using a manual does mean that I'm outside every couple of hours and I have to pretty much stay home all day so that I can adjust the dial and um, the temperature but I like being involved in the firing process like that. What is a daily habit that you have that is a non-negotiable? Um, I think more than anything it's just movement because I'm sitting down a lot of the day I have to get out, like I literally sometimes do a 10 minute workout and it's just stretching, yoga, some weights, like as long as I'm like puffing and I'm feeling out of breath, like I feel good and if I don't do that I get very anxious and I'm really prone to depression and anxiety which 
like if you've experienced that as well you know that there's just certain things that you have to keep on top of just so that you don't sink and that's one of mine i also would say journaling i have so many journals i've been journaling almost every day since i was probably 17 so it's just something that I love, I need, it's like a huge part of my life and I think it's led to like a lot of inspiration in my art, a lot of realizations about my life and um, yeah, it really is a non-negotiable for me. So that's all the questions I got. Please let me know if you have any more in the comments and if there's enough, then I can do another little Q&A in the next vlog. Um, but today we're finishing up some glazing and I'm hoping to be a little bit more productive today, but I do have a firing on, which means that we will get a kiln reveal tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. And I think that's that for today, but let's do some glazing and finish this tea. so happy with how the kiln um, reveal turned out everything fired so perfectly this round I love when they all turn out like perfect um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions about clay stuff or any comments in general I would love to hear from you guys Follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you want to see my future videos. I've got some tutorials coming out soon, so that'll be really fun. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.